Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening to all of you. Let's see you again. Okay, I'm not playing here well today. So in order to start, yes, let me know if you can hear me very well. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you.
Okay. Okay, before we start, I'd like to know if all of you complete all the exercises in the platform. Just let me know, please. Uh, yes, teacher, I have completed the exercise until Friday. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, let me see how many we have. Sixteen. Okay, we are going to sign now. So uh, we are going to use the sign in the right way. Okay, and one is today. Now let let me show my. Topic. Okay, this is section uh, number nine. 
and our topic for today is uh, talking about your company vocabulary. So, uh, yes, I, I need that you take a look at the picture and tell me and describe the picture, please. Who wants to do it? Me, teacher. Hello, sir. Uh, maybe they are uh, partners of Joe. Okay. They work mm. in the same company. They they are drinking coffee, maybe. Okay. They are in the office. Okay. Okay, actually. Thank you, somebody else. Someone else? Uh maybe good working in environment. They are talking about environment, okay. Okay, someone else? Tell me, tell me. Uh, they they are talking and maybe loading, riendo, hablando riendo. Okay. Thank you. Someone else. Teacher, they are working. They are working? Yes. Okay. What else? The mass. Take a look to take a look at the picture and tell me. Take a look at the picture and tell me. What else can you tell me about? ¿Qué más pueden decirme de la imagen? Teacher, podría ser they are on their break. Okay. ¿Me escucho? Yes. Okay. Try to imagine. Just take a look at the picture and tell me. Come on, I got more than 15 people here. I need the, your point of view. Just tell me, what do you think? That is what I need. Do you tell me, what do you think they are talking about? No ideas? No ideas? Uh, 
as you can see, they are talking each other. But maybe the question is what they are talking about. What do you think? Just tell me, please. Me teacher. Okay, Gabi. They they are in the in the break in a break. And what, what what they are doing? They are in on, on break. They are drinking coffee and speak. Okay, they and are talking. Talk, they are talking. talking. Okay. Okay, let me stop sharing. I'm going to stop sharing. And we are going to start doing something else. Okay, I'm going to share something with you. You are going to participate. So try to do it. I'm going to get bigger. And I'm going to look for someone from my list. Okay, let me start with Paola Jovel. Are you there, Paola? Yes, teacher. Okay, here we go with you. Okay, your favorite colors make a sentence with it. Okay, let us do it. Okay, teacher. No, teacher, no logro comprender la mecánica. Okay, dice, your favorite color. What is, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is a purple. Okay, then say, make a sentence with it. Haga una oración con su color favorito. Okay. Um, I have a teacher with my favorite color purple. Okay, that's it, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let me see somebody else. Well, if you're listening to the audience, no, I don't know, I don't know, okay. Okay, boy from Sergio Adolfo. Here we go. Wow, wow, wow. You are going to come twice. Do you know what is the meaning of that? What's mean, teacher? Excuse me? What's mean jump twice? Jump twice means salte dos veces. <laughs> yeah. Happy chair. Yeah, I know, I know you are sitting down. No, don't worry about it. Okay. I'm going to continue. Don't worry. Okay, I'm going to look for somebody else. Let me see who's going to be. Uh, Hector, are you there, Hector? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, here we go. Uh, 
Okay, answer the question, please. Victor, how are you feeling today? Teacher, good evening. Excuse me? Good evening. I am himself. Ah, oh, good evening. Good evening. And today I am fine. Okay. Was it? Okay, let me choose someone else. Sure, attendance. Carlos Amilcar. Uh, hi, teacher. Here we go. It is your turn. Okay, the question for you is, did you do any sport lately? Which one? Uh, yes, I did. And I played a football soccer with my family. Okay, does it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, is a listener, Roxanne is a listener, Roxanne is a listener too. Me, teacher. Wow, 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 a lot of people are listening. Okay, Roxy, I don't know if you can speak now. Yes or no? Correr. Correr aquí. Un momento, dice. Teacher. Hello. Que debo correr aquí. Hold on, hold on a second. Ah, okay. Run in and play for a moment. That means that you need to you're on your camera and you are going to stand up and start running in the same place. Okay. <laughs> I don't see you. I don't see you. I don't see you in the, in the, in the camera. As you can see, this activity is just to activate you. Here. Run in a pin place for a moment. We are going to imagine that you are running in the same place this right now. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, let me see somebody else. Ingrid, Ingrid Calderon. Here we go. Here we go, Ingrid. Do you listen to any music lately? What kind of? Voy a buscar porque no sé cómo se llama. Do you yeah. listen to any music lately? What kind of? Uh, I did listen music and uh, lately my kind of music it's ele electronic. Electronic, okay. That, that's it. You can answer this question only just saying electronic because at, at the end say what kind of music? Electronic, okay. Okay, thank you. Hope and die and, and, and all that, okay? Let me see somebody else. Um, I got a sleeping like that. Gabby, are you busy now? Yes, I'm sure. 
Um, so the answer is you get that. So I'm under study of the theology. Okay, somebody else wants to answer the following topic. Again, volunteer who wants to answer it. What do you play lately? I did play guitar. Okay, I play the guitar. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to check up the tennis now. So I'm going to stop it here. Okay, America, are you there? No? Uh, Carlos Hamilcar? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Cecilia Maribel? Present teacher. Edwin? Alexis? Edwin Alfredo? Present teacher. Present. Okay, thank you. Esmeralda eh, Rosario? Present teacher. Okay. Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Gisela. Gisela Guadalupe. Okay. Hector Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Ingrid. Present. Jonathan. Present. Don Jose Aleman. Catherine Paola. Present teacher. Thank you, Candy, Natalie. Present teacher. Okay, so Mauricio Antonio. Mauricio Antonio. Mercedes Alejandra. Present teacher. Okay. Roxana Alvarez. Present teacher. Okay, Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Sara. Present teacher. Sara Lopez. Present teacher. Okay. Sergio Adolfo. Present teacher. Okay, Sergio. Uh, Janet. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Here we go. Again, oh, I remember in the last class we were talking also about how to pronounce some words with uh, three different pronunciation. You remember that? No. Okay, let us start talking about the new topic for today. Mm 
nine guy here. Okay, let us just start. What what what's small talk? This is the first question. And the second one, do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? And why? We have two different questions. So uh, if you have the answer for the first one, just pass it and tell me. What's what's small talk? Okay, tell me this. Any answer about the question? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me, sir. Uh, the first uh, question for me is a, a short conversation. It's a short conversation. Oh, okay, perfect. And, and the second, I, I, I am considered myself a good conversation journalist because okay. I know a lot of um, a lot of uh, topics a lot of topics okay for example you. for example I, a conversation um, about uh, music about uh, sports about politics okay Okay, thank you. You got uh, you gave us a complete answer about each question. Thank you. Okay, someone else, someone else, please. Hey, teacher. Okay, go ahead, sir. Uh, I think uh, small conversation, small call is a uh, short conversation. Uh, for when I when I know uh, when I know uh, alguien teacher and you know someone so one uh, when I know someone uh, for first time okay and do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? And why? Depends. Uh, uh, I told a little bit with, with person. Um, uh, I don't know. It is it's difficult for me to uh, establish conversation with persons. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, thank you. Okay, somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me, Brooks. In my case, it depends on the person and the topic. Okay. And do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? And why? I'm talking about the question number two. Do you consider yourself a good conversation movies? And why? Tell me, please. Tell me, please. Anybody else? 
want to answer these questions? No, can I? Yes. Okay. Uh, is a conversation a non specific topic in this system? And I will not send you uh, something. I don't like to chat. Okay. Okay, thank you. Someone else. Someone else, please. Anybody else? No? Wait, sir. Okay, tell me. A small topic of conversation is about, uh, for me, for me. Uh, so, so I like to eat because I only eat vegetables. 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 Vegetable. Vegetable. Okay. Okay. And I consider that I can I can because there are much much topics to talk about the sport, about the job, about the family, uh about the the problems in the in the family. Okay. Nothing much. Okay, thank you. Someone else? See? Um, Giselle? Yes, teacher. And the first the first and uh, questions. Okay. Is, question. I con um I consider myself the small talk is considered poly than casual conversation. Also now um chip chat in social interaction or profession. Every romance um, um, and yes, I consider myself a good um, talk about a um, different person because I like learning new vocabulary okay. and whenever I am talking to my my lot and she, uh, he usually does most of the talking. Also agree, I agree. Okay, thank you. That's pretty good. Okay, let us continue. Teacher. Hello, sir. I, I consider the small talk the first time you see or may omit some of given day, teacher. Okay. Maybe, maybe a new co-worker teacher is a, a small talk. Okay. Thank you. Sure, me. In my case, it all depends of the topic because I like to work. Okay. All the panel will talk to you, sir. Right? That's correct. Okay, but let us see someone else. 
let us see someone else what can he or she tell us. Veamos que nos dice alguien más. No? Uh, teacher, for me, uh, bueno, uh, a small talk uh, is a few minutes conversation, and I'm I'm not a good conversion conversationalist uh, because I feel more comfortable with talking with friends. Uh, talk with new person is difficult for me. Yeah, okay, got it. I got it, I got it. What else? Mas? Tell me. Just tell me, share your ideas. Now is the opportunity that you be waiting for in order to practice English. Let us do it now, please. Come on, you need to develop your skill in order to speak with people in English. Just let me know what you are thinking about. No ideas? No? Come on, I know you can do it. Hello. Just tell me. No ideas, no ideas. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Okay, today we are going to study some tips in order that we can uh switch the way that we start a conversation with someone else, you know? Imagine that you are working in the same company and, and so at the same time you uh, meet with somebody else in a specific point, but you never have talked in her.
So you are going to see some uh, example how you are going to deal with this situation. And if you put in practice, it is going to help you to develop your skills related with, with the language. And you already mentioned what is the meaning of small talk. Uh, uh, are all that those conversations that we sometimes have not only as in our job, but also if you travel by bus with the person that sit next to you, you can uh, start talking about something like that. Different topic, but all depend. What I'm going to do is just to give you some example and I hope that you can put in practice. And at the end of the course, you are going to tell me if uh, my tip help you or not. Later on, at the end, you are going to have a practice related with this. But before that, uh, I, I'm going to show you some aspect that you need to take into account. At the moment that you are going to talk with someone. Well, uh, before I show you something, what I can tell you is that a small talk is a small, uh, is a, a, a light informal conversation. Sometimes it is commonly used when you are talking to someone you don't know very well. And sometimes I, I'm networking in social events, you know. But let me share with you some information related with that. So in that way you are going to have a better idea related with the small talks. Okay, small talk. Maybe the question is, what is small talk? Okay, as you can see there, um, according to the page, it says small talks uh, makes other comfortable and get to know others. That is the main purpose. Uh, these are the two main characteristics related with the small talks. Get to know others. That means that if you have a small talk with somebody else, you are going to meet each other in some minutes, you know. And at the same time, you are going to feel comfortable. As soon as you are going to start talking with somebody, you are going to feel uh, more relaxed. Okay, the talk we do just for purpose of being sociable, a live informal conversation. That that is the meaning of the concept. Somebody wants to tell me what is the meaning in Spanish? In order to be sure. Hello? Me teacher. Me teacher. 
Okay, do it, do it. In Spanish? Yes. In Spanish? Eh, en, en la primera es cuando hablamos solamente por un propósito o para iniciar algo, una conversación sociable. Okay. Y la segunda es como eh, más informal, quizás entre personas que tienen más confianza. Okay, could be. Thank you. Okay, let us see the purpose of the small talk. Let us see what is the main purpose. Okay, we are going to use it as a social lubricants to break the eyes, to appear friendly to people. What can you tell me about this three point? That is the main use of small talks as a social lubricant. What does mean? ¿Qué significa eso as a social, social lubricant? Tell me. To break, to break the eyes or to appear friendly to people. What can you tell me about these three points? Teacher, ¿se la puedo decir en español? Mm, ok, let us do it. And later on we are going to switch into Spanish. Right. English. Según lo que logro comprender es como para iniciar la conversación. Como dice ahí, break the ice para romper el hielo. Ok, perfecto. Ok, no voy a What about to appear friendly to people? What does para ser amable, para ser amable con las personas. Okay, para parecer, okay. Okay, these uh, are the main use of small talks. Okay. Uh, I got some questions here related with the teacher. Hello, sir. Uh, and the uh, use small talk uh, social lubricants. Uh, what's me? So, entiendo que es como lubricante social traducido, ¿verdad? Pero, ¿cuál sería el término exacto? Eso es como. Eh, como para. para en para establecer conexión con las demás personas. Porque no lo podemos traducir literalmente como un lubricante social, eso es lo que diría, pero es, es decir, como que para que la conversación eh, fluya. And we got some example here, to make things go smoothly, to create rapport with other people, to build and maintain social relationship. This is the meaning of social lubricant. Hey, teacher, what is the meaning of rapport? To create rapport with other people? It's yes. uh, like, um, imagine that you you plan to go to a uh, university and you don't know anybody there. But suddenly the, the, the professor start asking you to introduce yourself. 
And the same is going to happen with the rest of the class. And later on, he is going to give you the chance to start asking and giving extra information. And then uh, you are going to feel like uh, more comfortable about El rapport, eso es como crear un ambiente más de confianza con otras personas. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, what about the third one to build and maintain social relationship? Tell me. Para construir y mantener relaciones sociales. Ah, ok. That, that is the use of uh, small talk as a social lubricant, right? And as I saw before, when, when say to create a rapport with other people, Esa a, a modo de que tú te sientas bien con ellos. We talk about breaks the ice. Social environments before engaging in more functional topics of conversation. At work as an icebreaker before meeting, you know, you start talking and say, okay, I'm going to do to start uh, explaining you this, 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 you break the eyes. I guess you already got meaning about this, break the eyes. Another important thing is to be friendly. Social environment, engage in conversation with a stranger, uh, where serve uh, serves to maintain a friendly atmosphere at work. Okay, take a look at this expression, please. We need to be friendly. Word service to maintain a friendly atmosphere at work. Mantener una atmósfera amigable en el trabajo. Sometimes it's really difficult, but we need to we need to try. To create a DAO, no? Okay, when and where people engage in a small talk? donde las personas desarrollan a uh, algunos small talk by water coolers. Water cooler is this. In lunch rooms, in the elevator, at the bus, train stop, while waiting in line, at Superstore, at the party. What else can you mention about? In the bathroom, teacher. Okay. What else, Kimas? Tell me. In the kitchen, teacher. Uh, also could be. Could be in the kitchen in the office. Okay. Uh, in a bus again. In the bus, okay, in the bus too. And sometime in your office when somebody else visits, 
your office and you just say hello, good morning, and that's it. Remember that we need to be sociable. And we got some example of, of the small talk. Okay, who wants to read the the phone? Just one, please. Read, read this one. Hello. Who wants to read it? Uh, me, teacher. Okay. Greetings and responses to greetings. Okay, it's one way to start a uh, small talk when you say hello, hey, hello. Yeah. What about question about weekend, vacation, holiday, etc. etc. Or comments about the uh, hockey or this on or the soccer game, comments about the bus or the train, being lady, etc. Employment, uh, current incidents, news, etc. A shared experience, so that was a great party, and so on. Are some examples that you can use. Uh, one of the most popular small talk topics, for example, in Canada, is the weather. What about here in El Salvador? One of the most popular small talk topic. Do you tell me? Talking about El Salvador. One of the most popular small talk topic. Tell me. Teacher, the heat and calor. <laughs> Is the same like the weather? Yes. Oh, okay, what else? I must, I must. When, when told football teacher. Ah, oh, could be about soccer. Yes. Okay. Yeah, teacher, the traffic in the street, in the streets. Ah, okay, talking about traffic, jam. Even on the radio, you can listen different reports that people say, uh, going down in the Charles Street is difficult because uh, la, 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 you know, and everybody starts talking about that too. Okay, what else? Another topic? Security teacher. Excuse me? Security country teacher. Okay. Uh, but at the same time, we've got uh, some uh, inappropriate topic for a small talk, for example, uh, talking about religion, belief, discrimination issues, money matters, personal issues, marriage problem, and politics. That means that we need to avoid talk about that. Wow. Oh, teacher, me. teacher, an, another could another could be a favorite team. Favorite team. Talking about politics. Could be no. Uh, uh, another team could be a favorite team. Is is difficult because, uh, for example, in the soccer. Oh. My favorite team is Barcelona. My favorite team is Real oh. Madrid. It's, oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's in a prepare. <laughs> I got your point. I got your point. Okay, could be two. Okay, what else? Okay, now to recap. Let me recap. I got a question here. 
no one is one. But the third one, somebody wants to tell me what the small talk is. Just give me an answer, please, about the problem. Ah, no need that all of you participate. Just answer the question. The, the first one is uh, in order to make other comfortable. Para hacer otros más, sentirse más cómodos. Hacerlos sentir más cómodos. Okay, okay, that, okay. Thank you. Somebody else. What small talk is? What small talk is? Somebody else, please. Every one of you have a different concept. Cada uno tiene un concepto de lo que es un small talk. Okay, second, why engage in small talk? Why engage in small talk? Tell me, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me. The key words maybe is engage, engage. And the, the next one said when and where to engage in small talks. I know that you look in the dictionary this word engage. For now the person teacher. And what about uh, of appropriate small talk topics? Just give me Sonos then. An example of uh, inappropriate small talk topics. For example, teacher, um, the time in what time is it? And um, it's a it's a question. It's a short question. And could be uh, a small talk. Okay. Because after it's oh it's late or it's early. It's depending. Okay, all depend on okay. Okay, what about uh inappropriate small talk topic? I already mentioned. No idea. Uh, discrimination issues. Okay, discrimination issues. Another one. The religion. Okay. Personal issues. Personal issues. Okay. Talking about age, talking about. How much money do you earn in the months? Yeah, you don't, it is considered inappropriate. Yeah. For example, agree or disagree about the abort? Okay. 
Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Eso. Microphone, microphone, please. Microphones. Microphones. Okay, let us do another exercise uh, in order that all of you can participate on it. Okay, I have to figure out this one. Just rush your hand if you want to participate. Who wants to do it first? Number seven, teacher. Hello. Number seven. Just choose a number and, and I'm going to click on it. Choose a number from one to 17, please. Number six, teacher. Number six, okay, let me see what we have. Number six. Let's see. Okay, number six. Okay, if you question something about the world, what will it be and why? Give give us an answer. If you could change something about the world, what would it be and why? Tell us. Uh, some something could be the the gas price <laughs> uh, could be better if the price are very low. Okay. That is the read. Okay, thank you. Now I need that you choose a name of one of your classmates, please. Choose a name. Just give me a name for one of your classmates. Uh, Edwin. Okay, Edwin, choose a number, please. Number eight. Number eight. Do you like to cook? Easy. <laughs> Very easy. Uh, I don't like because I can't. <laughs> I can't cook. Okay, you need to learn how to cook in order that you can help in your home, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, choose an choose a name. Mention the name. Hello. Elvin, Elvin. Elvin. Sorry, teacher, my microphone. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Tell me a okay. name. Uh, Carlos. Carlos Amilcar. Carlos, are you there? Uh, yes, I'm here. Choose a number, please. Uh, number two. Number two. Your question is, what do you do in your free time? Pretty really easy. Uh, usually, I... I play video games in my phone and I see movies as well. Okay, you watch movies, okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, choose a name and tell me. Choose a name. Please. And 
Héctor. Ok, Héctor. Uh, one. Number one. Yes. Ok, here we go. What are your hobbies or special interests? Tell me. And my hobby is play football. Okay. That's it? Yes. Okay, thank you. Choose a, choose a name. Give me a name, please. Ingrid. Ingrid, where are you? Ingrid. Can you repeat? Ah, oh, my goodness. Yeah, uh, we need to pay attention. I don't know the ones that are already participating. Tenemos que poner atención de quienes van participando para que no se repita, porque si tengo 17 y tengo 20 participantes, me van a quedar 3 en participar. So, choose a more than three. Al inicio entendí que tenía que escoger un número. De ahí responder la pregunta que sale. Yes. Uh, ¿Ten? Number 10. Yeah. Have you ever lived in another country? Have you ever lived in another country? Uh -huh. A dream. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, live in Europe. Europe? Yeah. Okay. In which country? Yeah, maybe Spain. Okay. La pregunta dice, ¿has vivido en otro país? Talking about the past. Talking about the past. <laughs> Entendí al revés. Okay, okay. Por eso le, le, dice, le dice la pregunta. Okay, choose a, choose a name of your, one of your classmates, please. Elija el nombre de sus compañeros, que no se repita, por favor. Tell me, tell me, please. Yesenia. Okay, Yesenia, are you there? Oh, Jonathan. Let us try Yesenia first. Yesenia, are you there? No? Okay, Jonathan. Okay, teacher. Number seven, teacher. Number seven. What was the last movie you have seen? I I was. I what? What was the last movie you have seen? Yes. Um. The Guardian of Galaxy teacher. Okay. The Avenger, maybe. Yes, teacher. I like the, the Marvel Studios. Oh, I got it. Okay, thank you. Give me an name, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, Sergio Adolfo teacher. I don't know if, if you already participate, Sergio. Sergio. Uh, number four, teacher. Hello? Yeah, number four. Number four, okay, number four. Number four said, tell about, uh, tell me about a favorite event of your adulthood or childhood. 
Háblenos de algún evento favorito en su niñez o en su adultez. Bueno, ah, ah, my favorite event, uh, maybe adulthood is a concert of the uh, of concert rooms. Okay, that's it. Okay, thank you. Um, I need to stop this activity because I am going to continue with something now. Hold on a second, please. Oh, I'm going to share some info in order that you can uh, get better ideas. Well, we need to read it in a hurry because. Okay, I got here some information on how to make small talks. There are four strategies that help you make a small talk in a, any situation. Four uh, strategies that that will help you make a small talk in a, any situation. First, ask open-ended questions. Most people enjoy talking about themselves. Not only are we, we are our favorite subject, but it's also easier to discuss yourself than something you know little about. Think about it. Do you have a, a harder time speaking about 14th century glass blowing or your favorite book? Open-ended questions generate an interest in the dynamic conversation and encourage the person. You are speaking with the open heart. I don't know if you got the minute uh, some words right here. The first, ask open-ended question. Would you have a harder time speaking about the 14th century? If we are talking about history, we can use this question, by. Right? Okay, the second one, practice active listening. It's uh, tempting to tune out occasionally, but you, uh, you'll forget a uh, much stronger connection if you pay attention. The other person will notice uh, how engaged you seem. In addition, it's uh, much easier to ask relevant questions and remember detail to bring up later if you are not listening with one ear. If you are not listening with one ear, okay. And the third one, Put away your phones. Or oh, open is the tercera. We tend to pull out our phone when we are feeling uncomfortable or awkward in social situations. But nothing will sabotage your conversational effort more quickly. Few people will approach you if you are scrolling through your phone. And you will send a plain message to anyone you are already talking to that you are not interested. So what is what is the meaning of this one? You need to put away yourself right in order to start so uh to, to, to socialize with, with people around you. And another uh, tip is they have to show an enthusiasm. Small talk might not always be the most stress-free activity. However, if you go into it with the right attitude, you can actually have fun. And we got some example related with this. Another thing that you need to do is introduce before you can get to know someone. It is a good idea to introduce yourself. You can introduce yourself to anyone you don't know or to remind someone 
you be, uh, met people who might have forgotten you. When you're introducing yourself, you can add a little bit of information like where you first met or what you do. You can even use your English learning as a conversational starter. Oh, goodness. It's really important. And we have got some example. Okay, somebody wants to help me read it. Alguien me ayuda con la lectura, por favor. Me teacher. Okay. Uh, ex examples. Good morning. We always have coffee at the same time. But, but we've never spoken before. My name is Edwin. Okay, this is uh, one way you can use it in order to start talking with somebody else. Buenos días. Nosotros siempre estamos, tomamos el café en el mismo lugar, pero nunca hemos hablado antes. Mi nombre es Max. What's your name? Where do you work? You know, and we start in that way. Okay, or alguien más que me lea el segundo ejemplo, please. Okay, teacher. Okay. And, and, and Hello. The next one is going to be you. In the, okay, go ahead. Hello. How are you today? My name is Sergio. I'm still learning English, so please let me know if I made any mistakes. Maybe it's a good way we, we can interact each other. Okay, Ingrid, what about the next one? Angela? Yes. You might you might not remember me, but we meet, meet at Tom's Christmas party last last year. I am Ingrid. Okay. Listen, hi Angela. You might not remember me, but we met at Tom's Christmas party last year. I'm Ingrid. Okay. Posiblemente no me recuerdes, pero nos conocimos. Eh, en la fiesta navideña de eh, el año pasado, yo soy fulana y tal, y you start talking, you know? Espero vayan haciendo eh, alguna screenshot. Okay, topic that are universal can be shared by almost anyone. Seems like the weather, currents, new sports, and entertainment are usually safe conversation style, especially when you are speaking to a group. Even if one person doesn't really watch sport, someone else in the group might. Although these topics are talked about by many, so people might not be fans of sport or might not follow entertainment news. So if you can, try to match people interest in the topic you choose. For example, if you heard them talking about big news stories, in the past, you can try to talk about a new story from today, and you can continue doing that way. We got some example. Do you watch the Oscar last week? I can't believe it. Leonardo DiCaprio finally won one. This weather is crazy. It was cold yesterday and today. I came in with an open jacket. I hope it stay warm. Now you. Or another way that basketball game yesterday had me glued to my seat. Wasn't that a great save at the very end? Okay. You got some example. And what is the meaning of this line? Dime. El partido de, 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 de básquetbol del día de ayer me, me mantuvo pegado a mi silla. ¿Sí? Ah, ok, mira, mira la forma de cómo hacer. Pero, most of the time, ok, the day, we, we can talk about that. If you are not sure, what topic to talk about on, or you don't have anything interesting to say, 
uh, you can just ask someone about their day or you can talk about yours. For example, you could ask them, uh, how was your day? Uh, has your, your day been so far? Another question could be, uh, how have you been feeling today? Or uh, what have you been doing today? Or has anything exciting happened today? Or another could be, what are you planning for after work? You can use it too. Okay, let me see what else. As you can see in the picture, they are talking to each other. That, uh, let me see the time that we got. Moments. Okay, uh, in exercise number two, say choose a uh, city good topic for a small talk and city you consider inappropriate. Discuss your choices with uh, a partner, please. You are going to choose it from this list. So try to do it now and later on we are going to discuss. ¿Se comprende la instrucción? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, let us do it now. Let us do it now, please. We have location, company, politics, common event, travel, money, buses, lights. Okay. Just tell me, just tell me, please. For three, three, teacher. For me, politics, uh, bosses, and money. Are you talking about inappropriate or good topics? Could be politics. Okay, someone else. Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. I okay. consider it inappropriate, teacher, politics. Okay, politics. Com common events and boss, boss, boss. Okay. Okay, someone else. Uh, for me, teacher, uh, good topics are travel, uh, likes, and common events. Okay, common event. Okay, thank you. Someone else. Okay, somebody else. 
temperature. Yes, tell me. I consider inappropriate topics are politics and boxes and money. Okay, money, money, money. Okay, thank you. Let me see the time. Okay, uh, in the next exercise, uh, you need to think about three other good topics for a small talk. And you can share it with me. You already mentioned some of them. So don't forget to write down something about this. Well, we got a listening. But uh, let, me, let me try to go next to, to the exercise number four because we need to do something now. Okay, tell you to practice this model of conversation with the planner. I'm going to read it. It's speaker A and speaker B, excuse me. Uh, where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending to? Yes, I am. You know, this is a small talk. Okay, let us practice a little bit. Excuse me. Uh, where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending to? Yes, I am. Questions? Questions? No question, teacher. No question. The meaning lure in Spanish, teacher. Excuse me? Segundo, segundo piso. Yeah, the second floor. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me see the time. We got only a 20 minutes. Okay, this is the one that I, I would like to, to see in you. Okay, prepare a short conversation like the one in the model. Use different topic to initiate a small talk. That means that right here we are going to work together with somebody else, and then you are going to share the conversation. Any question? No? Okay, let me see. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I'm going to do, let us see if we can do something else. Because I, I got a lot of people like listeners, so uh, if you want, you can choose someone uh, in the panel and just... For example, if I want to create a conversation with Jonathan, I'm going to ask Jonathan, would you like to work with me in this activity, Jonathan? And Jonathan is going to answer, yes. Okay, let us uh, create our conversation about this stuff. The ones that I already mentioned. Okay, let us try to do it now, please. If you want to look for your partner, raise your hand, and I'm going to give you the chance to choose your partner. Para los que no comprendieron, eh, hoy no voy a hacer las parejas eh, a través del sistema, sino lo vamos a hacer diferente. ¿Por qué? Porque tengo muchas personas de oyentes. Entonces, si usted eh, quiere crear su pareja, levanta su manito y luego va a mencionar el nombre de la persona con quien quiere trabajar. Esa persona va a responder... Yes or not? And, and you are going to start working together to create the conversation. Okay, let us see. Veamos, veamos, ¿qué hacemos? No se comprendió mi instrucción, okay. No? Okay, let me switch. I'm going to create the breakout room then if you want to do this way. Okay, here we go. No se les olvide, lo que tienen que crear es una conversación corta referente a cualquiera de los temas que ya vimos.
Okay, let me see how many people is alone. Okay, here we go again. Okay, let us see who worked on, on the activity. Just let me know, please. Okay, who wants to start? Mm 
no me teacher okay let us do it now please uh, my partner is Sergio okay okay hi how are you again how are you Sergio there are a lot of traffic this day Yes, the traffic is very hard today. Um, could be because it was an accident. Yes, yes, a uh, very accident. Um, and it's difficult for you to uh, stay here? Yes. Okay, that's it. See you, Sergio. See you. Have a, have a good day, Sergio. Thank you. Okay, thank you, someone else. Okay, someone else, someone else, please. Teacher, me, I want to try with Hector. Okay, go ahead, sir. Hi, Hector. Hi, hi, Jonathan. Hector, do you like sport? Yes. I like a sport. What is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is soccer. Oh, oh. What is your favorite team in the country, Hector? And my favorite team in the country is Alianza. And my other team is Barcelona. Oh, I like it, Barcelona, but I dislike Alianza. Oh, okay. I see you, Hector. See you, you later, Jonathan. Bye bye. Okay, pretty good. Good job. Thank you. Okay, someone else, someone else, please. Next. Next. Hello, Mario. Uh, teacher, my partner was uh, listening. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, someone else, please. Anybody else? No? Okay. Hmm. 
maybe I'm going to switch the activity. Again, second phase. Okay, let us uh let us listen and let me know if you can hear it. This is a download from BBC Learning English. To find out more, visit our website. Yes, you can can you hear it? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, yes. Yes, yes, teacher. Pay attention, please. Six Minute English from BBCLearningEnglish.com. Hello, I'm Neil. Welcome to Six Minute English, and with me in the studio is Rob. Hello, Neil. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm very well, actually. The weather's been nice lately, hasn't it? Oh, yes, it has. The winter's been mild this year, but uh, according to the forecast, there might be some snow in parts of the country next week. And, you know, that's good because I love snow and we haven't seen much of it for okay, quite a while. OK, OK, OK. It's rain, isn't it? Enough. That, so. OK, hold on a second. Let me try to do something now. Because... I don't know if you got... Uh, the right sounds. I guess it's going to be better if I share the audio. What is here? Because I don't want to have any problem at the moment, but I'm going to download the video. Bueno, lo vamos a tratar de hacer de otra forma. Ojalá no nos genere ningún conflicto al momento de querer subir el vídeo. Ok, you got it there, you got it there. You can play it, you can play it there. I can as allowed. Just listen and then we are going to show you some questions related with that. Teacher, a mí no me funciona el audio, no sé. Doesn't work? Mm, ya lo descargué, pero no suena nada. No right. sé si... Ok, ok, don't worry about it. Ok. Don't worry about it. I'm going to look for the way that I can share it with you. It is uh, referred to as small talk. And at the end, uh, uh, I need to show you some questions, but if you can read it, don't worry about it. We can do it tomorrow, no problem. Okay, let me see the time that we have in order to finish. Okay, let me see that again. Uh, the attendance. Okay. 
Sri America. Carlos. Present teacher. Okay, Present thank teacher. Okay, thank you. Cecilia Maribel. Cecilia. Eh, Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Esmeralda. Present teacher. Okay, Gabriela. Gisela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, Hector. Present teacher. Okay, Ingrid. Present. Thank you, Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay. And, uh, and good night, teacher. Okay, good night, Jose Ernesto. Good night, teacher. Take care. Teacher, okay. me puedo retirar. Sí. Okay, okay, Isa. Solamente se me de lo que yo llamando. I need to talk with Hector Enrique at the end of the class. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Good night, good night. Okay. I see you. Good night. See you good tomorrow. Night. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you. Good night. Good night. Uh, let me talk with um, Don Jose Ernesto Aleman. Are you there? No. Catherine Paola. Present teacher. Okay, Candy Natalie. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Mauricio. Mauricio Antonio. Nice, Alejandra. Present teacher. Roxana Alvarez. Present teacher. Eh, Sara Alejandra. Sara Alejandra. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Sergio Adolfo. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Janet del Carmen. Yes, okay, thank you. And Yesenia Lisette Aguilera Cruz. Okay, the rest, thank you. I need to talk with uh, Hector because Hector is number. Number nine, I guess, yes, that's true. Good night, sir. Okay, good night for the rest. Good night to all. Okay, thank you, good night, take care. Hello? Hello, teacher. No, actually, hold on a second, please. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm going to go for a Okay, here we go. Okay, now you've got uh, 10 minutes in order to ask questions related with any topic that we already have started. I don't know if you have any questions apart from here related with one of the topics that we started in the previous days. ¿En español se lo puede decir? Yes. Eh, sí, lo único fue de que como en la última clase que no estuve, que he estado, he estado repasando lo que son los verbos, es lo que un poquito como la introducción del id, el di o la t, de la, de la, la, de la terminación. Eso es lo que me, como que me ha costado un poco más. Ah. Eh, Okay, okay, okay. I got it. Let, let me give you some info. I'll show you some info about. Okay, hold on a second, please.
we mentioned that the, there are three different ways how to pronounce uh, the ED the ED form of a bear, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, hablamos de que la pronunciación del ED en los verbos se puede dar de tres formas. But I'm going to show you something here. Let, let, let me do this. Okay, let's see what we need to do. I'm going to compartir. I have to think what's in the middle of Okay, I got it. Can you see it? Puede verlo? Sí, sí. Yes. Say the pronunciation of ED in English. Okay, I'm going to explain it this. The past simple and the past participle of regular verb in English and in ED. El pasado simple y el pasado participio de los verbos irregulares en inglés termina en ED. For example, work. El pasado simple sería work. Y el participio también sería work. Work. Sí. Ok. Ok, entonces significa que eh, a la hora de pronunciar no voy a decir work care. Sino que ya hay una forma de cómo hacerlo. Y eso es lo que necesito mostrar. Dice, there are three ways. Hay tres maneras de pronunciar el ED. Like T, like D, and ED. Tres formas son. Una que es con T, otra con D y otra con ED. ¿Cómo voy a hacer para saberlo? Ok, it's the base for, uh, it's the base where and in the sounds, D or D. Si la forma base de los verbos termina o suena en una T o en una D, por ejemplo, want me, what you are going to do is that you are going to pronounce the ED is going to be like T, want it. Want it. Si no va a ser want it, solamente si. Ellos terminan en sonidos que sean T o sean D. Y aquí tengo los ejemplos. Por ejemplo, need, need it. Mm -hmm. not. It is the last sounds that is important, not the letter of the spelling. Lo que cuenta es el sonido, no como está deletreado. Por ejemplo, complete. Termina en un sonido T, entonces complete. Complete. Sí, solamente sucede con estos dos sonidos. Okay. Ahora veamos. Is the bass uh, bear and in one of the following and voice sounds? And voice son las aquellas que no tienen fricción. Por ejemplo, si termina en P, stop. Este va a sonar como una T, stop. Let K, walk, walk. Look. F, laugh, last. Es has, has. No va a decir past. ¿Sí? Siguiente sería wash. Yes. Washed. And the next one sería watch. Watch. Entonces lo importante es aprender estos sonidos y saber que después de ellos, si tenemos un ID, se va a pronunciar con sonido T. Sí, sonido T. Si ¿Sí gusta, vaya haciendo capturas. Sí, sí, yo voy haciendo capturas. Ah, ok, perfecto. Ok, la siguiente es el verb based uh, and in all other sounds which are voiced. Si la forma base termina en cualquiera de los otros sonidos, los cuales son voiced, o sea, tienen vibración, entonces ahí el sonido va a ser un sonido de, por ejemplo, full, full. No va a decir call it. Pon, pon. Lead, lead. Play, played. Try, try. Esa es como, como una regla, ¿no? Ok. Y luego tenemos algunos ejercicios relacionados a, a cómo aplicar cada una de las. De, 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 la, de los verbos. Now group the, the, the verb according to the pronunciation of ED. 
haga una captura. El día de mañana me muestra, eh, o ahorita me puede hacer como una clasificación de por lo menos dos o tres, en qué grupo van. They are now grouped together according to the pronunciation of the D. You think what peer, book, all, uh, read, youth, invite, this. Okay, I'll give you three. Broke it. Broke it. Sería con la, al final de T. Broke it. Porque sí. tenemos. Uh, book. book. a book it. Sí, exacto. Pero ahí el de ella se pronuncia como una T. Sería solo. Sí, but. Ok. Call it. Call it sería con la D. Ok. Y kiss it. Kiss it. Lo conté si no estoy mal. Kiss it. Ok. Sería kiss. Kiss. Mm. Kiss. Sí, ok, and the last one, try to identify one with ED. Trate de identificarme una que lleve ED, por favor. Right. Right. No. Para que terminen en ED, solo Want it. a ver dos. Want it. Excuse me? Want it. Want it. Okay. Okay. Right. Si no estoy mal es con adena. Right. 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 Okay. Uh, if you took the screenshot, you can resolve it. And, and we can share it tomorrow. Okay. Pero no, no sé si tenga, le quedó alguna duda de cuándo se pronuncia como T, como D o como ID. No, ahí, ahí creo que lo único que sería que estudiara lo que son los sonidos para, okay. ter, para, para ver la terminología y ya ir, irlos adaptando, ya sea la T, a la D o la ID. Ok. Ok, perfecto. Entonces. Sí. Bueno, creo que ya estamos. Eh... ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Eh, bien, voy, a, voy, voy haciendo los ejercicios en la mañana, cuando ya, antes de entrar a trabajar. Ok. Para, hacerlo, para irlos haciendo. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, espero haberle ayudado en que tenía sí. dudas. Sí, sí, muchas gracias. Sí, and, sí. And, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you. Ok, see you later. Ok. Bye.